Welcome to Today in Nerd History. On February 1st, 2003, we lost the crew of the Space Shuttle Columbia. The Space Shuttle Columbia disaster was a fatal incident in the United States space program that occurred on February 1st, 2003 when the Space Shuttle Columbia disintegrated as it re-entered the atmosphere, killing all seven crew members. The disaster was the second fatal accident in the Space Shuttle program after the 1986 breakup of the Challenger, soon after liftoff. Today we remember the brave explorers David Brown, Rick Husband, Laurel Clark, Kalpana Chawla, Michael Anderson, William McCool, and Elon Raymond. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Violations, aired February 1st, 1992. In this episode, Troy, Riker, and Dr. Crusher fall into unexplained comas while the Enterprise is transporting a group of telepathic historians. Remembering Elizabeth Sladen, born February 1st, 1946 and passed away April 19th, 2011. Elizabeth Clara Heath Sladen was an English actress best known for her role as Sarah Jane Smith in the British TV series Doctor Who. She was a regular cast member from 1973 to 1976 alongside both John Pertwee and Tom Baker and reprises the role many times in subsequent decades both on Doctor Who and its spin-offs K9 and Company and The Sarah Jane Adventures. She moved to London in 1970, and an appearance in the police drama Z Cars led to her being selected for the part in Doctor Who. She subsequently starred in other roles on both TV and radio before semi-retiring to bring up a family in the mid-1980s. She returned to public eye in the 2000s with more Doctor Who-related appearances, which culminated in taking a regular lead role in the Sarah Jane Adventures. The show earned the Royal Television Society 2010 Award for Best Children's Drama. She also made regular guest appearances on the main TV series and provided voiceover commentaries for its releases to DVD. Sladen died of cancer on April 19, 2011. Her death made national and international news headlines and major TV stations and newspapers paid her tribute. Happy birthday, Bill Mummy, born February 1st, 1954. Charles William Mummy Jr., sometimes credited as Billy Mummy, is an actor from San Gabriel, California, who played crewman Kellyan in the Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, The Siege of AR-558. He is perhaps best known for his childhood role as young Will Robinson on Lost in Space from 1965 through 1968. By the time he took on that role, however, he had already been acting in TV and movies for five years, having joined show business at the age of five years old. Prior to Lost in Space, he appeared on such classic shows as Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Wagon Train, Perry Mason, The Fugitive, The Munsters, Bewitched, and several episodes of The Twilight Zone most notably 1961's It's a Good Life. In addition, he was in movies like 1963's A Child is Waiting, Palm Springs Weekend, and 1965's Dear Bridget. Following the cancellation of Lost in Space in 1968, 
He starred in the 1969 Walt Disney film, Rascal. In 1971, he starred in Bless the Beast and Children. And in 1973, he had a supporting role in Papillion. Also in 1973, he played Weaver in the TV movie Sunshine and in the 1975 series, also entitled Sunshine, and a 1977 TV movie follow-up, Sunshine Christmas. His only other TV credits during the 70s were two episodes of The Rockford Files, including The Pilot. He did very little in the film or TV during the 80s. His only notable credits during this time was an appearance in The Twilight Zone, The Movie, in a segment remaking the aforementioned It's a Good Life episode with Mummy in a different role and a guest spot on Matlock. His career picked up some speed in the early 90s with his roles in the films Captain America and Double Trouble and appearances on the TV shows The Flash and Superboy. In 1994, he began starring in Babylon 5, playing the role Lanier. In 1996, he and Peter David co-wrote the science fiction series Space Cases for the children's cable channel Nickelodeon. After Babylon 5 ended in 1998 and after he appeared on Deep Space Nine, he went on to reprise his role as the supernatural Anthony Fremont from the It's a Good Life episode of The Twilight Zone and a follow-up story for UPN's version of The Twilight Zone entitled It's Still a Good Life. In 2006, he co-starred in the TV movie Shockwave. Additionally, he continues to expand his credits in the film of voice acting, having lent his voice to a number of animated TV programs and direct-to-video movies. He is also a musician and is one half of the popular duo Barnes and Barnes, along with children friend Robert Hamer. Before his appearance on Deep Space Nine, he had worked in Star Trek on one previous occasion. He co-wrote with Peter David three issues of the DC Star Trek Volume 2 series of comics. The story depicted the Enterprise A's encounter with The Worthy, a group of alien characters modeled after the cast of Lost in Space who had, predictably enough, been lost in space for centuries. Happy birthday, Bill. Remembering Paul Carr, born February 1st, 1934, and passed away February 17th, 2006. Paul Wallace Carr was an American actor who played Lieutenant Lee Kelso in the Star Trek episode Where No Man Has Gone Before. He broke into acting in 1955 and made well over a hundred TV guest appearances, eight regular series roles, about 30 film roles, and a number of plays. A few of his guest appearances were multiple episodes as the same character, a few others were multiple episodes as different characters. A true character actor, he and his wife ran a health food business. His film credits include Alfred Hitchcock's The Wrong Man, The Young Don't Cry, Posse from Hell, Captain Newman, M.D., The Dirt Gang, Ben, Brute Core, Executive Action, The Bat People, or It Lives by Night, and Raise the Titanic. He appeared in the TV miniseries Scruples, as well as the TV movies The Wild Women of Chastity Gulch, Adventures of the Queen, The Lives of Jenny Dolan, and Trial Run. He was in a 1959 episode of The Rifleman, a 1966 episode of Time Tunnel, and other series include Combat, The Invaders, 12 O'Clock High, and Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. In 1981, he joined the cast of Buck Rogers in the 25th century as Lieutenant Devlin, one of the officers on the Earth ship Searcher. His voice credits include the role of Matsuko in the Japanese anime Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, 
and Screaming Mad George and Blood, The Last Vampire. Carr died of complications from lung and brain cancer. He was only 72 years old. Remembering Bibi Basish. Born February 1st, 1940 and passed away September 7th, 1996. Bibiana Basish is perhaps best known to Star Trek fans for playing Dr. Carol Marcus in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. She also narrated the audio release of the Michael Jan Freeman novel Faces of Fire. A 30-year veteran of TV and movies, she got her TV start in 1966 on the soap opera The Secret Storm. She went on to have brief stints on three other soap operas, The Edge of Night, Love is a Many Splendored Thing, and Somerset. She was in the 1979 film The Promise and was in the 1979 TV miniseries Backstairs at the White House. And then, in 1981, she co-starred in the TV movie The Sophisticated Gents. After Star Trek II, she was in The Day After, which was an excellent TV show or TV movie for its time. She received one Emmy nomination as Outstanding Supporting Actress for the TV special Doing Time on Maple Drive, and another in 1993 for a guest appearance on Northern Exposure. She also had a role in the 1991 TV movie Crazy from the Heart and in 1993 she was on Law and Order. She also had guest starred in the Golden Girls episode Sick and Tired. She had notable roles in other movies including Who's That Girl, Steel Magnolias, Tremors, and Betsy's Wedding. She died from metastatic breast cancer. Remembering Terry Jones, born February 1st, 1942, and passed away January 21st, 2020. Terence Graham Perry Jones was a British comedian, screenwriter, actor, film director, and author, and he is best known as a member of the Monty Python comedy team. Happy birthday, Caitlin Hopkins, born February 1st, 1964. She played Kalana in the Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, The Ship. She also appeared in the Star Trek Voyager episode, Live Fast and Prosper, as Dala. She also played the Doctor in that same episode when he was impersonating her character, Dala. Other TV appearances include guest roles in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, Wings, The Practice, and Spin City. Her movie credits include Runaway Dreams, Spirits, Ted, and Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles. Happy Birthday, Rutina Wesley, born February 1st, 1979. She is an American film, stage, and television actress best known for her role as Tara Thornton on the HBO series True Blood. She made her on-screen debut in the lead role in the 2000 film How She Move. She was in a reoccurring role on the series Hannibal and played Liza Warner in the fourth season of Arrow and is in Queen Sugar. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day.